بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. To proceed, brothers and sisters and friends, I greet you with the warmest Islamic greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here is an argument for God's existence. And this argument you can find in the Quran itself. In chapter 52, verse 35 to 36, God talks about the creation of the human being. And He says, Were you created by nothing? Did you create yourself? Or did you create the heavens and the earth, the cosmos? Indeed, you have no firm belief. Although this refers to the human being, the ulema, the scholars, they said this can refer to anything that began, anything that is muhdath, meaning it came into existence. And the scholars derived four logical explanations on how to explain that which begins to exist. Here they are. Number one, it came from nothing. Number two, it created itself. Number three, it was created by something else created. Number four, it was created by something uncreated. So we could apply this to the whole universe because we now know the universe wasn't always there, it began. Whether you talk about mathematics, whether you talk about philosophy, whether you talk about the second law of thermodynamics or cosmology or the Big Bang, the point is the universe began. If it began, let's talk about the first option. Did it come from nothing? This is impossible because if I got some nothing, added a little more nothing and sprinkled some more nothing all we would get is nothing exactly so from nothing nothing comes the second option could the universe create itself well this is an impossibility because that would mean the universe was in existence and not in existence at the same time let me give you an easy example for you to understand this could your mother give birth to herself? No. So we can easily say that the universe couldn't create itself. Do you remember the third option? Maybe the universe was created by something else created. Maybe. Well, let's think about this a little bit. If this universe, universe 1, was created by universe 2, and universe 2 was created by universe 3, because it's created. But then Universe 3, since it's created, was created by Universe 4. And Universe 4 was created by Universe 5. If that goes on forever, would we ever have our Universe, Universe 1? Of course not. Let me make this even easier to understand. Imagine I'm a Marine, and I want to shoot a bird. And before I shoot the bird, I have to ask permission from the marine behind me but he has to do that too and the marine behind him he also has to ask for permission and that goes on forever will I ever shoot the bird? no just like if this universe was ultimately created by something else that was created and that goes on forever you wouldn't have the universe in the first place so the final option is well the universe must have been created by something un created which is the most logical rational conclusion and if there's an uncreated creator then it follows it must be powerful because it created the entire universe it must be knowing or intelligent because it created laws in the universe and a law giver implies knowledge or an intelligence it must be different transcendent because it created the universe for example if I create the chair do I become the chair? No, I'm distinct and disjoined from the chair. Also, this creator must be eternal. Because if it is uncreated, it means it was always there. If it's always there, it means this creator is eternal. So you can see where we're going here. This sounds like...